Hello there guys, my name is Coach Shadogs the Born, but built for theme parks and welcome to a theme park predictions video. This is the first of the early prediction videos. Look at the Six Flags theme parks for 2022. Uh, of course, there are major factors which we're going to look at a bit later on, uh, but also looking at all the different parks and what I think could be going on in this particular season. Now, before we get started, quickly, please like, comment, subscribe, click the notification bell so you never miss another youtube video also guys check the description down below where you find links to tiktok twitter instagram snapchat the discord server where you yes you the coast shell fan base can be a part of the channel nation and interact with other coast shell fans and also the google forms link where you put your ideas and content suggestions in that forms link in the description down below so let's get straight into this so of course there's big factors going into these six flags predictions for 2022 even this early on um obviously there's a couple that are pretty much nailed on a couple of them are delayed rides from the 2020 and 2021 seasons uh because of course the covid 19 pandemic and that's one of the major factors with this prediction videos this year is the covid pandemic i think for 2023 predictions, I think COVID may, thank God, hopefully not be uh, involved in that, or it might be involved in the aftermath of that, but uh, it's going to be very interesting to see what direction 2023 goes in. But for 2022, I think I have a rough idea for some of them. Uh, but like I said, a couple of them are pretty much nailed on. Uh, there's a couple of routes for a couple of parks as well and also there's a couple of stuff that we already knew anyway so let's get straight into this with the first of the six flags theme parks so six flags theme park number one is frontier city now of course frontier city is one of the newer acquisition parks along with the likes of darien lake uh, as well as some some wet and wild parks as well that have been transformed into hurricane harbor theme parks uh, of course frontier city the hurricane harbor oklahoma near the park uh, added a new water slide was adding a new water slide in 2021 um, now, of course, with the theme park itself, I think that they're going to be one of the parks to get a brand new roller coaster. Now, it's not a new roller coaster as such. I think we're looking here at the relocation of uh, Goliath at Six Flags New England to replace Thunder Road Raceway and the little maintenance area at the side of the go-karts track. Now, obviously, uh, Thunder Road Raceway is the park's go-karts. Uh, and I, in my personal opinion, I think we're looking at the relocated Goliath of Six Flags New England uh, for that. Uh, now, of course, I've gone with a name suggestion of Pandemonium. That, 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 that name's not exactly part of Frontier City at the minute, but it's a very Six Flags name. And I think that that would be a wonderful name uh, to describe the experience of Goliath. Of course, Six Flags New England, Vacoma Giant Inverted Boomerang Coaster, uh, opened back in 2012 at the park. But of course, before it opened at Six Flags New England, it did operate between 2001 and 2011 at Six Flags Magic Mountain as the old Deja Vu and of course it sits where uh, the, the sort of new uh, street area, the underground area is with the West Coast Racers. So, um, obviously, you know, the old Deja Vu, now known as Goliath, in my opinion, will get a third relocation to uh, Frontier City. And I think we're looking at maybe the Pandemonium name, maybe it's a different name, but I think we're looking at that going to Frontier City for the 2022 season. And I'd be a fan of that. I'd be a really big fan of that move because I think Frontier City deserves a brand new roller coaster. And I think this is perfect for the capacity of Frontier City. I think it's a different type of layout. It's an inverted coaster. It's a compact inverted coaster. Inverted boomerang as well. It's very unique and specific. And, you know, they haven't really got a suspended or inverted coaster at the park. So it'd be a really nice addition to Frontier City's coaster lineup for 2022. Next up, the Great Escape. Now, of course, recently they have revealed that Adirondack Out Outlaw the fun time booster attraction will open for the 2021 season. So it all leads up to 2022. Now, in my personal opinion, I think we're looking at a Zamperla Endeavor next to Canyon Blaster, as you can see on your screen right now. Um, this is the uh, sort of grassy area next to one of the helixes on Canyon Blaster. It's a good little area. It's the right kind of plot of land shall we say to be turned into a Zampella Endeavor I think they can do some really good uh, stuff with the landscaping of that area and I think overall it would be a really nice attraction a good family thrill ride for the park because obviously you know you think of Adirondack Outlaw that's the 
the thrill ride, the proper thrill ride. So I think more of a family thrill ride for the next season. And I think something like a Zampera Endeavor would be really cool for the park. Especially if it was called something like Spin Sanity. That would be a really cool way to uh, highlight the family thrill market at the Great Escape. Next up, La Ronde. And my prediction here, well, it's not really a prediction because I think it's probably pretty much nailed on. Uh, now, of course, recently, V-Pair, uh, Green Lantern First Flight at Six Five Magic Mountain relocated. Uh, basically, it wasn't announced to be opening in 2021 as part of the park's released statement in recent in the recent few days. Um, we know all the parks have released stuff about their attractions. We knew about Adirondack Outlaw at the Great Escape, stuff about Sidewinder Safari, which we'll go on about when we talk about Discovery Kingdom. But I, with V Pair, there was no conf confirmation of 2021. So, in my personal opinion, my prediction is that V Pair will be delayed until 2022. That's just an early prediction. Obviously, things could change in the next few months before we lead into uh, the spring prediction videos in May. Uh, but, in my personal opinion, I think we're looking here at a 2022 as an early outright thought. Uh, now, of course, if you didn't know already, V-Pair is an interim Zack Spin roller coaster uh, that will operate at La Ronde after operating between 2011 and 2017. Uh, well, to 2017 as Green Lantern First Flight at Six Flags Magic Mountain in Valencia, California. So this Intamin Zaxpin coaster will be relocated to La Ronde. Uh, it was originally scheduled to open in 2020, then 2021. And even though things can change between now and May, or now in the last predictions video for the, for the 2022 prediction season, I think we're looking at a 2022 opening for V-Pair. There's foundation, supports, track already on site, uh, but I think they'll I think they'll start getting it up towards 2021 and then open it in 2022 when they've got less COVID and more crowds back, uh, which I think would be a very smart move for the run. I think it would help delay their further long-term projects a, a year or two in the future, which means they'll get themselves prepared, ready to invest or continue to invest in future long-term projects whether it's for the family market or the thrill market next up six flags america and we heard rumors uh, just last year uh, towards the back end of last year like the third quarter of last year that um you know there was some work going on some maintenance going on some electrics going on uh, around the Whistle Stop Park area near Penguins Blizzard River. The early rumor, according to Screamscape, was that some of those Whistle Stop Park rides are going to get relocated to other areas because something massive was going to uh, take over that area. And something I didn't mention at the start was, of course, another fact to take into account with these predictions is the fact of the... Um, the, the big rumours towards the end of last year about what could be coming and, and, and you know there were going to be last minute additions for 2021 to parks that have already opened their 2020 attractions however I think we're looking at 2022 investments now and that is of course the Screaming Swing the SNS Coaster Project which is a follow up to Max Force the Premier Coaster Project whatever that is the RMC which we'll talk about in a bit uh, there were some Zamperla rides as well. So there was a few things being rumoured for Six Flags. And I think that we're looking here at one of the rumoured attractions. So for 2022, I think Six Flags America is going to be adding in that it, around that Whistle Stop Park area or in the Whistle Stop Park area near the Penguin Blizzard River, a DC themed Max Force style SNS launch coaster for 2022. They're going to be one of the parks that receives a coaster. Like I said, an SNS coaster project, a Premier coaster project, and an RMC coaster project. And we already also we've got the rumored relocation of Goliath from Six Flags New England. And like I said, I predict that's got to Frontier City for 2022 as an extra coaster project. So in terms of the on, from scratch ones, the three that was uh, rumored back end of last year. I think we're going to see them in 2022. We knew with the RMC already, uh, but I think, again, Premier SNS 2022, in my opinion. I think that Six Flags America's got a decent site opportunity with that one. So I think we're looking at something really, really good here. Next up, Six Flags Darien Lake. And again, one of the more recent purchases in the last few years from Six Flags Parks Wise. And uh, I think they're going to be building near Scrambler the SNS Screaming Swing that was part of the rumours. Now, the reason why I've gone for a Screaming Swing is because I think Darren Lake is going to go for a good, strong thrill ride. A strong thrill ride. Now, I think if it wasn't the Screaming Swing, I'd like to also see uh, the, one of those fun time boosters like Catwoman Whip at St. Louis for 2022. Bit of a, bit of a spoiler there. <laughs> um, um, but also Adirondack Outlaw at, at the Great Escape. So uh, I think we're looking at one of those maybe if they're not going to go for the Screaming Spring. But 
I think Darien Lake would go really, really well with the Screaming Spring attraction because I think it's a nice, strong attraction, a strong thrill ride. Uh, they can market it really, really well. And there's some good name suggestions for Darien Lake if they were going to build uh, the... Um, the Screaming Swing. I mean, there's a lot of names obviously taken uh, by by Darien Lake that Six Flags Parks around the rest of the world may not have used yet. Um, but there is a lot of names available that they could use um, as part of their as, as part of their marketing of this attraction. I mean, you look at the names that's been taken so far: Viper, Mind Eraser, Predator, uh, Tantra, and that's just roller coasters alone. Um, you know, obviously they've got a, a giant Discovery Frisbee ride called uh, Titan, I believe. And, um, you know, it's it's very interesting to see, you know, how they would market the Screaming Swing. Because I think the Screaming Swing would be a wonderful thrill ride to have in the park. Uh, I mean, you look at some of the other thrill rides that have been named. Blast Off, Red Hawk, Rolling Thunder, Sky Screamer, Slingshot. They don't have one called Titan, I do apologise. <laughs> um... But no, I think that, I mean, looking at it, if, if we're looking at it from that kind of point of view, then I think Titan would be a decent name. Uh, I think Titan would be a good name. Um, <laughs> just came to my mind. Um, so yeah, Titan would be a good name. Goliath would be a good name. I think Goliath's a very good Six Flags name, a classic Six Flags name. So I think Goliath or Titan wouldn't be bad for the fun time booster or the screaming swing. So I think that, again, Darien Lake's got a very interesting opportunity here in terms of marketing a screaming swing or a fun time booster, but I'm going more along the screaming swing route. Next up, Six Flags Discovery Kingdom, and we got two predictions for this one. Uh, now, one of them is Sidewinder Safari, delayed till 2022, and the reason why I say that is because, again, they've come out and they've announced about 2021, no mention of Sidewinder Safari, similar to La Ronde and Viper. Um, no mention of Sidewinder Safari, so I think it could get delayed till 2022. However, the second route, if this project has been outright cancelled, there's no Sidewinder Safari whatsoever coming to the park in any year, for now. Um, if this project's been outright cancelled, then another route that could go down is either a Zampella Endeavour or a Funtime Booster replacing the Tasmanian Devil attraction and near the Johnny Rockets uh, restaurant option. So, again, that's a that's a decent site for Six Flags Discovery King to work with flat rides-wise, thrill rides-wise, uh, or family rides, th family thrill rides-wise. Um, obviously, the Zampella Endeavour is uh, the classic family thrill attraction. I think Discovery Kingdom is one of the only main Six Flags parks that, in my opinion, deserves the Zampella Endeavour. Um, but you look again at the Fun Time Booster route. I think that would be a wonderful ride for the Discovery Kingdom. Again, it matches with the, the height restrictions for California. Well, apparently, they've got these height restrictions. So, um, they can work it with the height restrictions. They can't go for the tallest of its kind in the world permanent attraction, booster attraction. But what they can do is uh, still do a really tall, nice um, named ride. And again, it's all about names as well. Discovery Kingdom, again, what could they do with that? Comment down below your name suggestions for this one. But uh, again, we could be looking at some uh, decent suggestions going in there. But overall, I think we're looking at a flat ride or they're going to put in that uh, Sidewinder Safari project for 2022 instead. Six Flags Fiesta Texas. And this one's a very interesting prediction. I could have gone with uh, some new family rides however i've decided to go with a refurbishment of white water bay into hurricane harbor fiesta texas and with that near the thunder rapids i could see a brand new slide complex now of course you look at six flags fiesta texas uh, and their white water bay uh project their white water bay water park and looking at what they've got in terms of their white water bay in terms of the types of slides they've got um, they've got Texas Tumble, which is a family raft ride, Whitewater Canyon, the Lazy River, uh, they've got Riptide Runner, Bermuda Triangle, Paradise Plunge, Typhoon Twister, Texas Treehouse, Lone Star Lagoon, Tornado, Whirlpool, Big Bender, Splashwater Springs, Bahama Blaster, Bamboo Shoots, and Thunder Rapids. So, overall, we're probably looking here at, you know, I'd like, looking at the past, you're looking at here and thinking, well, maybe, you know, with the Thunder Rapids being very much a thrill water slide, I think the new slide would probably be like a family one. Um, maybe something with a little less, um, 
I don't know, a little, a little less thrills and more all ages water slide kind of thing. Uh, what I would like to see, and I would like to see if they can maybe attempt this, is I would like to see them maybe go for uh, the uh, Cheetah Chase style water slide. Again, there might be similarities to Thunder Rapids in the style of, co of water coaster with it being like a, a launched water slide coaster kind of thing. But I think that a dueling uh, water slide would be really, really nice for the park. And I think it would do them the world of good. And I think that it would be uh, a wonderful sort of addition maybe to... Um, to the uh, to the to the water park. Uh, one thing I would like to see, though, if they don't go with that, is um, obviously Hill Country Racer, which is their six-lane pro racer. They closed that in 2016. I think the area that I've circled here uh, near Thunder Rapids, I think that would be a good site for a mat racer, something like a Wahoo Racer or something like that. That would be a really nice way to uh, bring the Hurricane Harbor Fiesta Texas into this particular uh, water park. But uh, I think the main part of this addition would be the refurbishment from Whitewater Bay to Hurricane Harbor. So that's the main part of it. Nice refresh of the water park, the marketing, the design of the water park, and then bringing a new map racer or a, a Cheetah Chase style dueling water coaster slide uh, to, to, to go with the refurbishment. It's a little gift present for the refurbishment into Hurricane Harbor. Six Flags Great Adventure. Now, of course, this year they're bringing out Jersey Devil Coaster, so we're not expecting anything thrilling. And I think this is a good opportunity to turn Bugs Bunny National Park into either Bugs Bunny Boomtown or DC Super Friends. So I think this is where the Zamperla family rides are going to come into effect. Of course, the Endeavors are a part of that as well. But I reckon a part of that will be some nice kids' rides uh, as part of that. And I think that... Uh, again, this is a wonderful opportunity to take advantage after you've just added this massive new roller coaster um, to change a couple of the rides in there. And I think that you could really revitalize that area and, you know, really bring the, the vibiness of the Bugs Bunny or the DC Super Friends out of that area. I think the most likely suggestion here would be a Bugs Bunny Boomtown. Whether they do a DC Super Friends somewhere else in the park is beyond, beyond anyone's guess. But I think the Bugs Bunny Boomtown's probably more likely for this particular area of the park. And I think that, again, some Zamperla rides to replace the old models, uh, I think is absolutely key uh, for this particular area of the theme park. So uh, overall, I think Great Adventure's going for a more family route in 2022. And I wouldn't be against it, because I think it'd be a great way to bring back the to bring back new bring back the families and bring in new families to Six Flags Great Adventure theme park. Six Flags Great America. I think they're going to go down the flat ride route. Now of course they added Tsunami Surge this year or they are going to add it this year. Uh, but if we're looking at the revolution, I think it needs a bit of an update and a bit of an upgrade. So I reckon a giant, di giant discovery by Zamperla to replace Revolution. Now, whether you name it Revolution or you go down the Magic Mountain route with their Revolution coaster and call it the New Revolution, um, I think that's very, very Six Flags. I think most people think it's very, very Six Flags to call. If you're going to take out the old Revolution attraction at Great America for a new giant discovery or, or even a Giga discovery, called the new revolution i think it's very very six flags to do that um but i won't be against it i think that a giant discovery is the kind of ride that great adventure are missing for their thrill rides market and i think that uh, overall it would bring back the the thrill seekers to that particular area of the park again and i think that overall we're looking here at a decent thrill ride it will probably be one of the signature thrill rides in that particular area and also one of the signature thrill rides in the theme park of six flags great america i think that uh, they'll do a really good job with this. I think that overall, this is probably the most likeliest to happen. Next up, Six Flags Magic Mountain. It's so easy what to predict with this. We are going to get the RMC Single Rail Coaster replacing Green Lantern First Flight and Tidal Wave, their Shoot the Shoots attraction. Now, in terms of a theme, this is where the discussion goes ahead. And this discussion is probably going to take place between now and the final predictions video. It's ready for that uh, announcement video at some point at the end of August, fingers crossed. Uh, if that goes ahead. So, in terms of themes, I've written down two so far. Joker and Flash. Now, the Flash would be a decent theme. Again, it'd be nice to see that uh, sort of Flash um, sort of um, branding going on throughout the experience. I'd like to see... Uh, in terms of names, I think you look at the, the Raptor Coasters... Uh, the Raptor Coasters in... 
um, the other parks in Six Flags, like Jersey Devil Coaster at Six Flags Great Adventure, very original. Because this is in a DC area, look at Fiesta Texas one for more of a DC look to it. Wonder Woman Golden Lasso Coaster. Um, if they're going to go with the Flash theme, it could be just called the Flash. Or it could be uh, the Flash Nitro Coaster or something. Something that, that Six Flags would probably give as a name. If they're going to go with the Joker theme, we're probably looking at things like the Joker or the Joker Chaos Coaster. Again, something very Six Flags. So, and, and you know, obviously colour scheme is going to be interesting as well. Because I think if you're going to go with the Flash brand, you're going to look at a red track, yellow supports, or the opposite way around. Um, if you're going to go with the Joker, then we're probably looking at maybe white or black supports with one rail green uh, with, with the with the the green or purple rail or the or the other way around kind of thing so i think that overall again we're looking here at probably uh the joker in my opinion i think joker is probably the more likely theme because i think that um there's a real opportunity for the brand to come out of the joker and of course the theming around the queue line and experience as well there could be a chance to bring in the theming aspects to six flags again so i think that uh, the Joker theme from a theming point of view would be most likely because I'd like to see some uh, Some more theming done around this area and of course around that metropolis area as well Because you don't forget that one of the turns of the coaster is going to be around that sort of centerpiece towards the battle for metropolis dart ride so um, Overall, I think maybe Joker over flash, but it's no doubt we're looking at an RMC single rail coaster here Next up, Six Flags Mexico, and opposite the Joker, I predicted one of the Zampella Endeavours. There's a couple of Zampella Endeavours in this prediction video. Um, but, again, in terms of theme, what we're looking at here, well, we've got to look at uh, some villains to maybe do battle with the Joker, like a villain versus villain fight. Uh, maybe Harley Quinn gets involved with a Harley Quinn spin sanity type thing. Uh, maybe they go with uh, one of the Joker's enemies. Again, they could go with Batman, uh, Dark Knight, Sp Bit Spin Sanity. Maybe they go with a Supergirl Skyflyer theme. Something like that would be nice. Um, but it wouldn't make a lot of sense next to the jo opposite the Joker. So uh, very much a clash of themes to go with that. But overall, I uh, wouldn't. I wouldn't mind either way. Because I think the Zampella Endeavor would be a wonderful fit for Six Five Mexico. A good family thrill ride. Next up, Six Flags New England. And this is where the final of the roller... Well, not obviously apart from over Texas, which we all know what's coming. Um, this is part... The last of the from scratch coasters for 2022, in my opinion. Between Batman the Dark Knight and Superman the Ride, I'm going with the Premier Launch Coaster Project. Um, and again, this is um, this is quite an easy one to predict, in my opinion. The reason why I've chosen New England over over Georgia, which I'll go on about that prediction uh, later, is because I think Six Flags New England will utilise the site wisely, create this uh, full throttle style roller coaster. I don't think, in terms of a premier coaster project, we're looking at a West Coast racer style project here. We're looking probably at um, a full throttle style coaster project, a full throttle launch coaster and i think that if you get the the sort of landscaping right for the coaster around the surrounding area without taking out things like the teacups uh, keeping primo's pizzeria uh, of course you're next to riddler's revenge as well you're intertwining with superman the ride you're near catwoman's uh, whip so um overall we're looking here at a intertwining out and back full throttle launch coaster layout that's what we're looking at here for new england but it can't it, it don't tell me it can't be done it can be done and uh, i think new england six flags america six five magic mountain frontier city and as we already know over texas uh, will be the coaster fo focuses for uh this uh upcoming season in 2022 next year Six Flags over Georgia. Now, of course, I have to explain my prediction now that people people think that over Georgia could get a coaster, and I think that could be the possibility. However, um, obviously, I've got, I've got to think of a different prediction for over Georgia if I was going to go with a coaster layout. But I did have another prediction prepared for over Georgia, and that would be near Bonsai Pipelines in the Hurricane Harbour Water Park. Now, the Hurricane Harbour Water Park, and this is why I predicted this for over Georgia, hasn't received a brand new addition to the water park ever since the water park first opened back in 2014. So I'm looking here at a Thunder Rapids water coaster. It's quite a nice footprint. You could fit it in next to the Bonsai Pipeline. You could have a nice splash area, sort of where that corner is towards the Bonsai Pipeline. 
and you know you've got this whole area now to prepare ready for the Thunder Rapids to be introduced and I think that overall it would be a wonderful addition to the water park and I think that like I said the water park hasn't received anything since it first opened so I think that overall we're looking here at uh, uh, a water park addition just to freshen up Hurricane Harbour a bit more and uh, that's why I kind of went with the coaster for New England over over Georgia because I think that uh, over Georgia need a water park addition first rather than go for a coaster and I think they'll they'll wait till 2023 to get their coaster over Georgia but I think for 2022 we're looking at a Hurricane Harbor water coaster next to Bonsai Pipelines. Next up Six Flags over Texas and this one's a very easy one to predict as well. Uh, Aquaman Power Wave will be officially delayed because of course they are adding a, tur uh, a turntable uh, to this particular attraction. Uh, so they are going to keep building this, keep getting this up and running and uh, hopefully by the end of this year they'll have it uh, ready to test and then they'll open it for the 2022 season. We know about that already. Uh, of course this is the Mac Power Splash that was scheduled to open in 2020 as well as 2021. Uh, but of course because of COVID-19 and uh, with the turntable changes now, uh, this is now a 2022 attraction. So, you know, things like the Aquaman Power Wave, any 2022 attractions like V-Pair, maybe Sidewinder Safari, the last park I'm going to mention on this video uh, in a little bit, you know, all these things are probably going to get mentioned again if there is going to be a 2022 announcement video, um, sort of end of August, hopefully. And, you know, I think that this is a, a smart decision by Over Texas to do this. I think that Over Texas will take it easy for the next few years in terms of investments and maybe add a brand new roller coaster sort of towards the end of this decade. So, um, overall, am I fussed about Aquaman Power Wave being delayed again? Not really. I think that's a smart move. It's a good way to bring the crowds back once COVID's gone. And overall, we're going to be looking at this wonderful map power splash in 2022. Finally, Six Flags St. Louis, the last park I need to mention, and we know about this already after recent uh, articles uh, to announce that Catwoman's Whip will be delayed in 2022. Of course, replacing the old Speedodrome go-karts, delayed through 2020 and now 2021, Catwoman's Whip, the Funtime Booster attraction, will open in 2022 at Six Flags St. Louis. And uh, again, overall, I've got to say I think that uh, I'm a big fan of this. I'm a fan of this particular um, investment for, uh, for for Six Flags St. Louis. I think that, again, it's a smart move uh, delaying this particular attraction. I think that, you know, overall we're looking here at the uh, addition of this flat ride. And, you know, hopefully in the next couple of years, the coaster for Six Flags St. Louis will come. It just won't be next year. I think it'll be a couple of years time, but it won't be next year because, of course, they're bringing back Catwoman's Whip to be delayed until 2022. But I think it's still a, a good flat ride. And like I said, with uh, with Ackerman Power Wave, wait till the crowds come in. COVID's gone in 2022, and you have all the crowds ready to officially uh, unveil this brand new flat ride. So overall, smart by Six Flags St. Louis, and I think that their coaster time will come in the future. So there we go, ladies and gentlemen, Thrill Seekers of all ages. That is my Six Flags prediction for 2022, my early Six Flags predictions. Of course, we'll be back in May with this one. Uh, look back on the predictions. Am I right? Am I wrong? We're probably going to get loads of rumours, probably loads of um, stuff happening between now and May, fingers crossed, uh, to give us more of a hint as to what we're going to see at these parks. But uh, obviously, there's a few parks that are pretty nailed on now. Six Flags Magic Mountain, nailed on. Uh, St. Louis, nailed on. Um, obviously we know that over Texas getting Aquaman Power Wave, that's nailed on. Um, you know, there's obviously V-Pair and Sidewinder Safari at La Ronde and Six Flags Discovery Kingdom respectively. Those are pretty much nailed on to either happen or not for Sidewinder for Safari's point of view. Um, so again, we're looking at probably that as the case, but, um, there's a few parks still that we're, we're sort of waiting to hear more about in the future over the next few months, but, uh, obviously that time will come. Uh, but for now guys, thank you very much for watching the six five predictions for 2022. Stay tuned, uh, over the next two days because we're going to be releasing, uh, the Cedar Fair predictions for 2022, the early ones, and then the early million entertainments prediction for 2022. So stay tuned for those two videos on Monday and Tuesday. Stay tuned for them. But for now, guys, thank you very, very much. My name is Coast Shell. Keep living the ghost life, and I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have a thrill-tastic day.